Yo guys, M here, and welcome to an Assetto Corsa video. Yes, I am back here at the ring, and today, well, I'm in one of the Porsches. There's been another DLC pack, and today I am in a Porsche 911 GT3 Cup 2017. And before I say anything else, that low rumbling sound is not my tummy, that is in fact the Porsche. So, um... <laughs> It does make a bit of a rumble, but um, hopefully this is going to be an okay run, so let's see how this goes. I think I've probably got a lot of power here, and as you know, well, M plus power equals some kind of equation. So let's let's get on with it and see if I can get around the ring without crashing. So um, let's get moving. so tempting at the beginning to just try it, but I don't know. There's probably quite a bit of power there. There's quite a bit of power there. Now, as I've said before on lots of these videos, I tend to have pretty much everything switched off. The car itself is pretty stock. And it's going very fast. Seems to handle quite nicely. Bumpy. Sounded like we lost something back there, but I hope not. Have to check the replay for that. It's handling quite nicely. I didn't keep messing up my ears. See what we can do down here. Bound 
sing quite a bit. Right, standard setup. Sounded like I broke something then. Can't cost that much to fix, surely. Soon at the first uh, again. But we've got nice long straight first then. for me. I think what we'll do is we'll just take a replay and see what see what that actually looked like as well. Okay, well let's see how this lap actually went down. And I should say that uh, the only thing I really have on is the ABS. Um, I don't tend to have anything else on. So there's no traction control and the car setting as well is pretty much stock. So I haven't changed anything actually on the car so it is fairly standard fairly stock I haven't changed any of the tuning and also standard wheels I haven't changed any of that either so the only thing that I really have on is the ABS braking other than that everything else is pretty much off um, it's also on manual uh, manual gears and I'm also on the controller so sadly I'm not with a wheel I am using a controller so maybe that has an effect it probably does so Let's see how this uh, this lap went down. Hopefully it went down fairly good. Oh, I actually drove off. 
I notice there's a blinky light on the back as well. This is quite interesting. So it's the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup 2017. Started off a bit slow. Nice and noisy. And it actually handled pretty well, I will say that. That's a bad camera, that one. Blurred trees. I mean, it's not that fast. It is a GT3, but it, it's it's not bad. Pretty quick. Handles very well, I will say. And some good brakes, which is obviously very important. Especially with me behind the wheel. say I really am enjoying Assetto Corsa. I think it's actually quite a good game. It has some very nice cars. It seems to be done very well. It does remind me a lot of Gran Turismo, which sadly hasn't arrived so far on the PlayStation. I don't even know if it's actually going to arrive at all before we get to the PlayStation 5, I'll be honest with you. Gran Turismo Sport did have its launch event, so it was rather strange that after all that build-up, they then postponed it. And there has been nothing, as far as I'm aware yet, confirmed as to when it might be occurring. Some people think maybe April. We'll have to wait and see. But, like I say, I actually am quite enjoying Assetto Corsa. I know there are a few performance issues on the PlayStation as compared to the PC, but I think it actually runs quite nicely. There are some laggy moments like that. You see it bouncing around there. Really, really bouncing. Pretty stiff suspension. Oh dear. I think I overreacted there a little bit. Braked a bit hard. I'm just that kind of driver. I tend to brake a bit too hard into into turns. As you can tell by the glowing brake discs. See how we took this here. It looks fairly textbook, I must admit, but it did sound bad. It 
sounded like I mixed up the gears. Not a bad run, but I mean, I'm not going for the time here. It's really, really uh, just for a bit of fun around the track. So hopefully we might get some news about Gran Turismo at some point, because um, I know a lot of you guys out there watching are, are, are fans of the GT series, you are also people I've met, oh dear, at least I kept it, almost lost it, but at least I managed to correct it, that was bad wasn't it, not my finest moment I will admit. Like I say, GT or GT may be coming soon. We can only hope. It seems rather odd to have a PlayStation without a Gran Turismo, but uh, I know some of you guys are really waiting for it, and hopefully we'll get together, have some races, have some cruises, and um, basically have some fun. I've maxed it out by then. Totally redlined. Totally redlined it out, but um, it's a GT3, so. But not a bad car. And it's part of the DLC pack you can buy uh, on the PlayStation, so that was pretty, um, pretty good run, I think. So I'm going to wrap it up here. So thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Thank you.